Hola! Mi amo Roberto. Today, we're gonna pit fix carne asada. What is carne asada? It is a citrus marinated steak um, that we're going to do. Traditionally, it's done with skirt steak or flank steak. However, went to the store, they didn't have either, but they had a great price on ribeye, so that's what we're gonna make it with. So let's get started. Really, really simple. We're gonna make our marinade for our carne asada. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna chop some cilantro rough cut. Um, guys, I use every part of cilantro. I use the stems, I use the leaves, I use it all. So I think it all has flavor. And then what we're, what we're gonna use this for, it's really not a big deal. All right, let's take our garlic, smash, smash. How much garlic do we need? A lot, it's never enough. All right, so we'll rough cut our garlic. Um, like so, maybe one more chop. Put our garlic in our bowl. Take our limes, split them in half. We'll do three limes. Squeeze the juice of the limes in there. I love carne asadas um, because they're so simple. This is a great um, type of guest food. You can you can set up like a carne asada bar if you want to, which goes over really really well. We're gonna add three quarters a cup of orange juice, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, a little pepper. cumin, touch of salt, about a quarter cup of olive oil, give it a stir. And then we'll start with our steaks. Um, start with our steaks. These are the steaks. They really had really nice marbling, and that's why I decided to go with these. I probably would have went to another store. I'm going to take these steaks and cut them in half because later I'm going to want a really, really fast, hard sear on these. So I'm going to just take them, put my hand over the top, run my knife through these, and we'll take them in our marinade. Yes. So we'll do it again with this one. I'm just going to take it, put our hand over the top. Put it right down the middle. Put it one more time. Put 
This doesn't have to be perfect because eventually we're going to chop this up for tacos. All right, so we got our steaks in here. We're going to take these, give them a nice little stir. I'm going to put them in a Ziploc bag, let them marinate, and love all this love and goodness for about four hours, and then we'll throw them on the grill. Take our steaks. Set them in the bag. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Now about two hours in, I'll come and flip the bag over to make sure each side is very well marinated. Take the bag, do a three-quarter zip. Press, 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 press. Get all that air out of there as much as you can and seal it. There you go. So we'll lay this in the fridge. We'll give it about four hours and we'll be seeing you for dinner. Okay, on to the avocado cilantro lime crema. Guess what? The avocado's bad. So in the trash it went. Um... So here we go. So basically start out with about a half cup of sour cream into the blender. We'll be adding uh, about a bunch of cilantro, some fresh limes. Limes this time of year, they're just hard to get juice out of. Um, I don't know if it's winter limes or if they're traveled, but I just had difficult doing that. Um, I'm using a little of the Everglades heat in this and also a little bit of cumin um, that went into this and just try to make a Mexican flair things that you might have in your house um, so we're gonna put the blender on this and blend it to a nice consistency and vroom 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 off we go uh, the the crema was a little thick I did add just a touch of creme to this and it seemed to blend fairly well after that so I was pretty satisfied with the overall taste um, so we throw the steaks on the grill and now we've let these marinate for about four hours make sure that you um, get most of the marinade off as much as you can on these before you put them on the grill so sort of important to do because you want to create a really good sear on those um, as much as you can so um, at this point we're going to sprinkle it with the touch of salt when we get all the steaks on it's a salt pepper mixture so we're going to do that and then we're going to cook these for about four to five minutes on each side um, traditionally my family is more of a medium type of um, steak eater, and I'm more of a rare to medium rare, but I usually compromise and do the steaks to their flavor, so I only have to do the job once. Um, I do sometimes pull them to the side. So now that we've got the steaks already going, and they're looking lovely, and if you can smell the flavor coming off of it, we're going to start with our... Uh, tortillas these are just store-bought tortillas I didn't have time to actually um, make them but we'll do that in another episode mm. tortillas in another episode great idea okay so doing our tortillas got our steaks going um, and if we got a big family of five so I try to start these a little bit early and keep them hot and either a tortilla warmer or just throw them in a plastic bag or aluminum foil whatever you have but I mean the last thing that you want to do is is still be flipping tortillas at the last minute <clears throat> after the steaks are done so it worked out it worked out well and and tortillas you can see we just sort of kept them hot and I pushed them to the side of the grill to keep them warm um, I threw some green onion whole green onions on the grill and to me this is um traditional type of um, um steak taco that we're doing so it 
just turns out well. I mean, look guys, use your own creativity. Eat what you like. Don't be afraid to to vary a recipe if you want to and just do the things that you like to do. If you like basil, God forbid, you want to put basil on it, put basil on it. Um, so here we've got our condiments. Very, very simple. Little onion, fresh lime. Got our steaks. <clears throat> got our crema and it's about time to eat so truly enjoyed doing this for the family great great thing to do as you can see it makes for a great great presentation a great company gathering just doing a small carne carne acida bar so and for now bio condejos